So now we do a we do a deal based off of that. You see what I'm saying? We do a deal based off not only the music, but can you get this product in store for me? And then we do a percentage cut off of that. That to me, like that's what I'm doing. I'm not, I don't want to go nowhere near label with no leverage because we're gonna get the story that's as old as time. The attention, the attention, the the attention lure. And and we see it happen every year. Dang, what happened to such and such? And now it's getting quicker. Before you were at least hear of an artist for about three, four, or five years. Now it's like you hear them for one summer, bro. They put them on a song. Somebody remixes it. You forget they originally made the song. They only play the remix version. I got bras in you. You been to the club? I got bras in Atlanta. Simmons, 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 Defend. And then guess what? Guess what they play? They play Kanye verse, <laughs> and they play they play Buddy on the hook, but they play Kanye's verse, bro. Come on, right. man. Come on, it's it's sad, bro. It's sad. I got bras in the linen. At least in the in the phantom. Yeah, they the phantom, the phantom, the phantom, the phantom. And it's like, all right, you got the attention, no leverage, no no structure, no brand, no nothing. You thought that was future. Hey, for real, that's that was the that was the play. Thought that hey, future came, hey, future spitting, future going crazy. <laughs> and that's one of my favorite low key marketing. Uh, future is one of my favorite low key marketing plays, bro. Um, because. I remember hearing about Future because of Rocco. Rock, like you know, he was yeah, signed. Right. To, he was signed with Rocco, and Rocco took his shine that he got from Amadou Me, and instead of doubling down on the artist route, he used that entire project Swag Season to say, "Man, I'm cool, but Future, my little brother Future, he the one. He the Future, Future up next, Future up next." So he decided. Once again, hustle or a business move. Am I going to double down on this artist's attention thing that I know has a limited shelf life? Or am I going to put a guy in position who's younger, who is who I'm going to get paid for his success? Right. I'm, going to get paid, I'm getting paid off of his success like I would get paid on my own. I'm going to get paid a, a lion's share from his success because he signed to me. So I'm going to use this whole tape to alley-oop him. And then when he get on, oh, bro, go do your thing. I I make two songs a decade that y'all can sing to, and I come out and still get 30, 40 bands. But there goes there goes my bread right there. Well, what would you do, bro? Go for the attention of the check. I'm going for the attention, bro, because when I get the attention, it's going to lead to more checks, bro. What you talking about? The checks. I'm already getting checks, bro. What you want? <laughs> oh, bro, don't play me like that. We've been having money. We've been we've been having motion. We've been <laughs> don't play with me like that. We've been having motion. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Chill out. Hey. So, bro, we already robots. We hacked by the robots, bro. We hacked by the algorithm. Oh, I'm think. talking about. I'm talking about before computers even. We been yeah. we been robots. We the first. We the first. We we got a version of the smartphone. The <laughs> we we the dumbest version of the robots. They, hey, they we say we. Bro, it's. I just start reading. Take this down, bro. Huh? They gonna take this down. Hey, hey, find a whole new crowd. Hey, it's, hey, it's think about it, y'all. Think about it. A lot of y'all that's scared of AI and robots, you already a robot. Can you elaborate? Yes, bro. You wanna know what made me think about this? What? Being in the car rider line. Dropping elaborate. my keys off. All right, yeah. so think about it, bro. Alarm clock. 